I've also worked at a retirement community. So that included baby boomers and also I think older generations. Um, but I feel like uh, folks I worked with there, I've been able to kind of, um, they've sort of like taken me under their wing and uh, cared for me as well, kind of in a mentorship kind of role, but also kind of as a side by side, like I've been able to spend time with folks um, from the boomer generation who are who are involved in things like um, running, like for example, running the Boulder Boulder. I ran the Boulder Boulder with a boomer and that was a very meaningful activity. We did that two, maybe three years in a row. And so that was like a very healthy, active activity where we were doing it together and it wasn't like there was really a difference, you know, based on our generation, but it was just an activity we enjoyed together. There's been so much, um, you know, that I have to learn um, from from our older adults. Uh, and hopefully, you know, it's a two-way street sometimes, but uh, it was great when I first moved here to have baking days with my friend Julie, who uh, was in her 70s at the time. And, um, you know, have my friend Ruth ask me if I was wearing my bike helmet. Um, and my friend Mary asking, you know, who I was going on dates with recently, uh, and just to have that um, that intergenerational connection, and and to get out of those age silos that are so easy to uh, kind of get stuck in, especially uh, really at any age, but you know, especially in your early twenties, but also uh, when you're older as well, you make your friends, and you're you're in your um, age bubble sometimes, but but to cross those boundaries is, is just so valuable for everybody involved, I think. And, you know, it really just felt like I had a family here because these, these folks were uh, inviting me into their homes and lives uh, and traditions. And, um, you know, it was a great way to, to come to a new city alone.